Let's start. The project name is Retrofit. Let's see the project structure. In the build.gradle file, we have integrated Retrofit 2 and GSON libraries. The GSON library helps in converting the JSON data into model classes and vice versa. In the manifest file, we have written the internet permission. Here we have the main activity, a get response model class, a post request model class, a post response model class, a retrofit builder class, an API call class, and an API interface. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have two buttons, get request and post request. We have a text view that displays the result. And we have a progress bar that is initially hidden and gets visible when the user presses a button. Let's see the code. The scroll view is the root layout. This is the constraint layout. This is the get request button. This is the post request button. This is the text view that displays the result. And this is the progress bar. The visibility is set to gone, so the progress bar would be hidden initially. Let's see the Java code now. In the get response model class, this is data that we will receive as a response of the get API call. Here we have described the data and its getter setter functions. In the post request model class, this is the data that we will be sent to the post API call. Here we have described the data and its getter setter functions. In the post response model class, this is data that we will receive as a response of the post API call. Here we have described the data and its getter setter functions. These are the imports. This is the Retrofit Builder class. These are the data members. These are the URLs for the GET and POST API calls. Here we have implemented the singleton object creation pattern so that only a single instance of this class would be available throughout the app life cycle. In the build function, we set up the URL, set up the GSON converter which converts the JSON data into model class and vice versa, also set up the API interface. The call API function calls the API. This is the API interface. Here we declare the get and post API calls. These parameters are the endpoints of the URL. In the API calls class, we call the API requests from the API interface. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. When the get request button is clicked, first we show the progress bar. Then we create the retrofit builder class instance and set up the get URL. Then we call the get API. Here we call the retrofit callback functions, which has two functionalities on response and on failure. Here first, we stop the progress bar and then receive the response and show it in the text view. When the post request button is clicked, first we show the progress bar. Then we create the retrofit builder class instance and set up the post URL. Then we populate the request model. Then we call the post API. Here we call the retrofit callback functions, which has two functionalities on response and on failure. Here first, we stop the progress bar and then receive the response and show it in the text view. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can use the Retrofit 2 for API calls in Java Android. Thanks for watching.